tools free. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's start in child's pose. So take your knees out for today's child's pose. Take your knees out nice and wide and then big toes touch. Walk your hands forward and then press your hips back towards your heels. So I want you to, in this child's pose, just for today, lift all the way up onto your fingertips and then even lift your wrists up. So it's almost like you have little cupcakes underneath your hands. You're trying to just frame them with your fingers, not touch them with your hands. So walk your hands as far forward as possible and then press down into your fingertips and push your hips further back. See if you can just let your head be heavy and then let your heart melt down. Take a great big huge inhale. Hold at the top, push down with your fingertips, press your hips back. Big open mouth sigh, let it go. <sighs> and then rise up to your hands and your knees. Now bring your knees together Sit your hips back towards your heels and reach your hands back as well. So rest your forehead down, arms reach back, and if it's available to you, you can even grab hold of your heels. This is called embryo pose. So as much as you can, just give all of your weight to the ground. Take a great big inhale. Hold in fullness. And then big open mouth sigh, let it go. <sighs> Rise up to your hands and your knees, tabletop, and start with some cat cow undulations. So ujjayi breath in and out through your nose. Inhale to arch your spine, lift the crown of your head, lift your tailbone, and exhale to round your back. So chin to chest, draw your belly button in and up, and curl in. Go back and forth through these two movements. And as you're moving through your spine, you're also connecting to your breath. So big, expansive inhales. And long, strong exhales all the way to empty. Take about two more rounds, just like this. Make these movements as big and as exaggerated as possible. So fullest range of motion you can find through your spine here. Just fullest flexion and extension of your spine, these two movements. And then go ahead and bring it back to center. So just back to a nice neutral spine. We'll take thread the needle. So right arm reaches out to the right and all the way up, open up. Exhale, thread your right arm through, reach through as far as you can and then come down to rest on the outside of your shoulder and the outside of your head. And then just take some big deep breaths, any variation you wanna take. So I'm reaching my left fingertips forward. Maybe you wrap your left arm behind you. Go wherever, wherever you would like to go. And then just slow, expansive inhales, even slower exhales all the way to empty. Make your breath super important. Good job, you guys. If you happen to have your left hand lifted, bring it back to the ground. And then next time you inhale, unthread your right arm, reach it all, all the way up, gaze up. Exhale, right hand comes down. And we're gonna take downward facing dog for a moment. So tuck your toes, lift your knees, lift your hips. And then be here and just kind of stretch. So pedal out your heels. 
Shift your weight from side to side. Shake your head yes or no. So lengthening from your fingertips all the way up to your sit bones. And you can have a big bend or a little bend in your knees. Let your face be soft. Let your neck relax. So make this pose as much as possible. Make it feel good. So it feels like you're creating space. It feels like you're lengthening. You're stretching everything out. Take one more big breath. And then at the end of your exhale, just bring your knees gently back to the ground. We'll take thread the needle on the other side. So knees a little bit wider than your hips. Take your left arm out to the left. Inhale here. And exhale, thread your left arm through. So reach as far as you can. Then gently rest down on the outside of your shoulder, outside of your head. See if you can breathe bigger. So feel your inhalations. Expand into your upper back mid back, all the way down into your low back. And then take every single exhale all the way to empty. Last couple of rounds here. And if you do have your right hand lifted, slowly return it back to the ground. Next time you inhale, unthread your left arm. Reach it all the way up. Reach, reach, reach. And then left hand comes down. Take it back, downward facing dog. So again, just walking it out, pedaling out your heels, lengthening through your spine. Sometimes I think it feels really good to keep my shoulders nice and strong, but then press my heart back. So working into my mid and my upper back, kind of opening through the front of my chest. So just get curious and explore for a moment what feels good, what feels stiff or tight. Let's take one more round. And then at the end of your exhale, forward fold at the back of your mat. So you're gonna slowly crawl your hands to the back of your mat and pause there, forward fold. Feet hips width distance apart, or maybe even just a little bit wider. All 10 toes face directly forward. You can grab opposite elbows for ragdoll or bring your hands behind your head and interlace your fingers at the base of your skull. Bend your knees as much as you need to so that you can relax your neck completely. Let your head be heavy. Keep your weight slightly forward in your feet and maybe sway side to side or bob up and down. End of your next exhalation, release your arms as slow as you can, one vertebra at a time, roll up to stand. So super slowly, head is the very last thing to lift. And we're gonna go up and down a couple more times. So chin to chest, roll your shoulders forward. Roll it all the way down. And then roll back up when you're ready. You can plug in your breath any way that feels right to you or makes sense for you. Just make sure you're doing it with awareness. You're paying attention to your breath. Slowly roll it up and roll it down a couple more times. So imagine your spine is like a string of pearls. You're moving one pearl at a time. No hurry. We're gonna end up in a forward fold. So next time you roll down, go ahead and just stay there. 
take a moment. So I'll kind of wait for everyone to arrive. So once you're in a forward fold, just hang out there. Let your neck relax, let your head be heavy, breathe into your back body. Next time you inhale, we'll find a halfway lift. So spine parallel to the ground, get all the rounding out of your back. Exhale, fold. Do that once more. So inhale, crown of your head reaches forward, tops of your thighs press back, sit bones broaden. Exhale, fold, and let's start to crawl our hands. So plant your hands and start to crawl them forward. Plank position. So shoulders over wrists, hips level with your shoulders. Come to your knees if you would like to modify. Take a big inhale, and then slow motion, exhale down to your belly. Ah. Let's take shoulder pigeon. So you're gonna turn your head to the left, and extend your right arm straight out to the right with your palm facing the ground. Roll onto your right side body. So I'm gonna keep my right leg straight and bend my left knee, left foot comes down behind me. If there's a different variation you wanna take, please feel free. You might take your left arm up. You can reach your left arm back, kinda of like you're trying to get the backs of your hands to touch or you can wrap your left arm around your back. So back of your hand to the small of your back. Make sure you can relax your head and your neck. So if it's helpful, you can use a block, a pillow, a blanket underneath the side of your head. We'll be here for about four or five more rounds. Keep pressing down with your right fingertips. Keep breathing spacious breaths. You can exhale out your mouth at any time. So sometimes I feel like I get a little bit tighter or a little more anxious, especially if it's a pose that feels really uncomfortable for me at first. So notice if that's what happens to you and there's nothing wrong with that, but if you're tightening around the pose, see if you can soften just by taking a big, huge exhale. Ah. And then let's slowly come back onto our bellies. Take a moment, just resting on your belly, turn your head to the right and let your arms fall down by your sides, palms face up. Start by just rocking your pelvis from side to side. So kind of shimmying your hips from side to side. Breathe down into your low back. And this is just kind of resetting your spine. So keep it going, rock it out. And then bend your knees. Knees a little bit wider than your hips and windshield wiper your shins from side to side now. Keep breathing down into your low back. Nice job. All right. Let's move into shoulder pigeon on our left side. So left arm reaches out to the left, palm faces the ground. Your gaze is already to the right. So gazing over your right shoulder. And then when you're ready, roll it up. So all the way up onto your left, your outer left hip, your left side body. You choose which variation you wanna take with your right leg and with your right arm. Make sure you can relax through your face, your head, and your neck. Use a pillow or blanket if you need to. And then just slow, deep breaths. So let this be a practice for your mind just as much as it is for your body. Can you stay here? Can you be present? Can you notice, feel, and observe? So every time your mind wanders, which is totally fine, it's going to happen, but just notice that and then come back, come back to your breath. Notice the sensation in your left shoulder, 
maybe in the left side of your chest. Notice your breath, see if you can breathe a little bit deeper. Maybe exhale out your mouth to let some of that anxiety or tension go. So stay here and just sit with this. Breathe into it. Soften around it. Take about two more rounds. And then at the end of your next exhale, roll back onto your belly nice and easy. And turn your head now to the left. Bring both arms down by your sides, palms face up. Start by just rocking your pelvis from side to side. Shimmying your hips from side to side. And then when you're ready, knees wider than your hips, bend your knees and either windshield wiper or try egg beater. So circling your feet in opposite directions at opposite times. Just breathe, just feel, just notice. Go ahead and set your shins back down. Bring your hands to frame your mid ribs. We'll press up to hands and knees. And then from hands and knees, we're just going to sit back into screaming toe pose. So tuck your toes under, knees, hips width distance apart, and then sit your hips back onto your heels. So toes are tucked. Spine long. You can rest your hands in your lap. You can bring your hands to your heart center. Close your eyes. Don't let your heels drift apart, so hug in with your inner heels. If it would feel good, maybe draw little smiley faces with the crown of your head. So just let your head fall to one side and then forward over to the other side very slowly. You want to take your head in full circles, go for it. Just make sure as you go back, you don't just collapse your head back, you extend back. Little bit of strength in the sides of your neck. Couple more rounds. As that heat builds in your toes and your feet, breathe into it. Good job, you guys. If you're moving through your neck, bring your head back to center. Stack it over your spine. Go ahead and come forward to hands and knees. Untuck your toes. Give your feet a gentle pitter-patter tap against the ground. So tops of your feet, tap, tap, tap might feel good also to lift up your feet and just kind of uh, spin them around, roll out your ankles, your toes, and then as you're ready, downward facing dog. We'll take it all the way back. So feel now more awareness and more aliveness in your feet. Lift your hips really high, lengthen your spine a lot. Take one more big inhale. Exhale, look forward this time, step or hop, top of your mat forward, fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, let it go, bow. Root through your feet. Let's take it all the way to stand. Inhale, stretch your arms up, gaze up. Exhale, hands to heart. All right, inhale, arms to the sky. And then as you exhale, hands behind your back and interlace your fingers. Roll your shoulders back and down. Squeeze your shoulder blades towards your spine. And then if you can, start to reach your hands back away from your body. So this might be right where you stay. Otherwise, see if you can start to create a little back bend. So lift your heart up. Reach your knuckles down and press your hips very gently forward. Hug in with your inner thighs like you've got a yoga block there. Take one more inhale. Exhale, lead with your heart. Hinge at your hips. Dive down, forward fold. Relax your neck at the bottom. Stay here for about three more breaths. Fingers interlaced. 
weight slightly forward in your feet so you're not rocking back into your heels. Lift your butt and lift your knuckles. See if you can even draw up through your belly button, navel to spine. Let your head be heavy. Shake, yes, shake, no. Where is your breath? Make it even bigger. One more inhale. Exhale, hands to your low back. Release your clasp. Let your arms hang for just a moment. And then halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to plank position. Come to your knees if you'd like to modify. Inhale at the top. Exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, lift your heart, roll your shoulders back and down. So back bend of your choice. You can stay here for an extra breath or two if you want. We'll meet back in downward facing dog. Let's take our right leg to the sky. Inhale. And then exhale. Step your right foot to the top of your mat. Low lunge. Bring your back knee down gently. And if you need to, you can double up your mat. Fold over the side. Hands to the inside of your right foot. Walk your right foot out to the width of your mat. And just slightly forward. Now... See if you can lower your upper body closer to the ground without collapsing over to the left side. So push your weight towards your right front leg. Keep your right knee on top of or slightly behind your ankle. And then maybe start to lower down to your forearms. Let your heart get closer to the ground. Let your heart melt. If you want to spin your right toes out to the right or roll onto the outer edge of your right foot, perfectly fine. Take about three to five deep breaths here. Good job, you guys. Last couple rounds. Exhale out your mouth if you want to. And then if you are down on your forearms, start to lift back up onto your hands. Keep your hands just right underneath your shoulders. Back knee is on the ground. Now start to work your right knee back next to your left knee. So your right leg draws back and just set your right knee down. So now you're in a tabletop position. Pivot on your left knee so your left foot comes to the outside of your mat like a little kickstand. Extend your right leg all the way back and then reach your right arm to the sky. Modified side plank. Press your hips forward and then reach your right arm towards the top of your mat. Lengthen through your right side body. You can stay here with your right foot on the ground or float your right foot up. So strengthen through your right leg and reach through your toes or press through your heel. Take one more inhale. Stay here if you want or exhale. Bend your right knee. Reach back and grab hold of your foot. Kick foot into hand. Pull hand back into foot. Maybe rotate your heart to look up at the ceiling. So open your heart, open your shoulders, breathe down into your belly. Spread through your toes. Take about two more deep breaths. Good job, you guys. End of your next exhale, let it go. Hands and knees, tabletop position. Bring your knees together. Walk your hands off the left side of your mat. Lift to your fingertips. So again, like you've got little cupcakes underneath your hands. Press your fingertips down and then hips back into the right. As you push your fingertips down, even press them slightly forward. Press your hips further back, further to the right. Lengthen through your right side. So your right ribs, even the back of your right rib cage, you feel that stretch, breathe into that space. Push down through your fingers and then hips further back. So more length in your spine, more length in your right side body. One more deep breath. All right, come back up. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So keep your knees together. Walk your hands through center off the right side of your mat. 
and then hips back into the left. Tent your hands. So like there's little tiny cupcakes or little tiny tents underneath your hands. Push down through your fingertips. See if you can press your hips further back, further to the left. Breathe into your left side, your left ribs. Good job, you guys. Last round. And then come back up. Walk your hands to center and take it back to downward facing dog. All right, inhale your left leg to the sky, stretch it out. Exhale, step your left foot forward, low lunge. Hands to the inside of your left foot, back knee comes down. Walk your left foot out to the left and then slightly forward. So again, without collapsing all of your weight to the right, you're pushing your weight towards your left leg, your front leg. Start to lower your upper body closer to the ground. Maybe you pivot your left toes out to the left. Maybe you roll onto the outer edge of your left foot. And then breathe. Big breaths. Try not to let your weight collapse to the right. I know it's so tempting. It's so much easier. Keep gently coaxing your weight to the left. Keep breathing into your hips. About three more rounds, slow, deep breaths. All right, end of your next exhale. Slowly rise back up to your hands, plant your hands under your shoulders and your back knee still on the ground. Start to work your left foot back and then left knee to the ground next to your right knee. So your knees are hips width distance apart. Now pivot on your right knee so your right foot comes off the side of your mat. Little kickstand, left leg extends back and then modified side plank so left arm to the sky, open it up. Press your hips forward, squeeze through your outer right butt cheek. Lift your left foot off the ground if you want to. Reach your left arm towards the top of your mat if you want to. Lengthen through your left side. So this is a great place to stay. Stay here if you want to. Otherwise, bend your left knee, reach back. Grab hold. See if you can now start to open your heart even more. Turn your heart to look up. Breathe down into your belly. Keep spreading your left toes. Soften your face, two more breaths. Good job, you guys. And of your next exhale, let it go. Back to hands and knees, regular tabletop. And then this time, sit back into just a regular hero's pose. So you're not tucking your toes under, toes are untucked, just a kneeling position, seated meditation. If this really does not work for your knees and you want to sit in a different position, that's fine. Slow, deep breaths, nice and long through your spine. Close your eyes. And see if you can really just feel the inflation, the expansion of each inhale. Letting go of each exhale. As you are ready, downward facing dog. Big deep breaths. Inhale your right leg to the sky. Open up your right hip this time. So bend your right knee, squeeze through your outer right butt cheek. Stack your right hip on top of left. Really press down firmly through both of your hands. Keep your shoulders square and strong. Take one more inhale here. Exhale, pigeon pose. So nice and easy, slowly bring your right shin forward and set your body down. So right knee towards the outer right edge of your mat. Pull your right hip back, left hip forward. So just feel that hugging in, the structure, the strength of the pose. Then when you're ready, 
You can start your bow forward. So even as you're bowing forward, your right hip is pulling slightly back and slightly up. It's just an energetic movement. So I might not even be able to see it on the outside if I were looking at you, but you feel it. Your right hip, the femur bone plugs into the socket so you can stretch the muscle around the joint rather than just sinking into the joint. Five to seven rounds of breath. Exhale out your mouth anytime. Uh, about two or three more rounds here. Soften through your face, your neck, your shoulders. And then as you're ready, begin to lift your upper body. So just in your next breath or two, start easing your way back up, right? We're going to come into a seat. So very carefully sit over onto your right butt cheek. You can let your hips open, your back knee can bend and then swing your left leg around. Take both legs out in front of you for just a moment. Give them a gentle shake out. And then keep your right leg extended and bring the sole of your left foot to your right inner thigh, just like you're in a tree pose, but you're sitting on the ground. Let your hips open towards that bent knee. So rather than squaring your hips towards your extended leg, allow your hips to open. Flex your right toes back towards your shin and sit up as tall as you can. Press your foot into your leg, leg back into your foot. Reach both arms to the sky, big inhale. As you exhale, bring your right arm to your right toes. If that's not going to happen, grab your ankle or your shin. And then left arm reaches up and over. If possible now, right forearm to the inside of your right leg. And that's just an option. Open your heart towards the sky. So pull your left shoulder back and down. Breathe into your left side. Keep pressing your foot into your leg, leg back into your foot. And as much as you can, keep your sit bones grounded and rooted. About two or three more breaths. Soften through your face, relax your neck. Good job, you guys. End of your next exhale. Let's rise up and reach up. Both arms to the sky. Breathe in. Left hand comes down behind you. Fingers face away from your body. Press into your left hand. Lift your hips. Reach your right arm back. So lots of length through your right side. And you might even rotate your heart to open like a modified wild thing. Big, huge inhale. If you want to exhale out your mouth ah, and then bring your sit bones back to the ground. Take a moment, hands behind you, lean back, feet on the ground with your knees bent. Bring your feet out to the width of your mat. Windshield wiper your knees from side to side. And as your knees fall to the right, your left butt cheek can lift up. 
As your knees fall to the left, your right butt cheek can lift. Back and forth. Feel that mobility in your hips. Maybe even in your low back. Finish the round you are on. And then come back to center. We'll meet back in down dog so you can get there however you want. I'm going to give you one option. Boat pose. So bring your feet together. Squeeze your inner thighs. Reach your arms forward so you're balancing on your sit bones. Try to roll your shoulders back and down. Lift through your heart, through your chest. Squeeze through your inner thighs. Take one or two more deep breaths. From here, you can watch me first and then try it. You're gonna cross your ankles, rock forward, plant your hands. If you're feeling crazy, jump back to Chaturanga with bent elbows, or if you're not feeling crazy, <laughs> plant your hands and just step back. You can move through a vinyasa. And we'll see you back in down dog. Okie dokie, my friends. From your dog pose, inhale, left leg high. Open your left hip, bend your left knee, squeeze your outer left butt cheek. So get this nice hip opener in your three-legged dog. See if you can lift your left knee a little higher. Keep both hands rooted, both shoulders strong. One more inhale. Exhale very slowly and softly. Pigeon pose. Bring your left shin forward. Left knee towards the outer left edge of your mat. Hug in towards midline. Left hip pulls back. Right hip pulls forward. Little tone in your lowest, deepest abdominals, your transverse. And then bow forward when you're ready. Humble pigeon. Big deep breaths. Ah. Even as you're bowing forward, your left hip is pulling slightly back and slightly up. Soften your face, unclench your jaw. Loosen up through your forehead, your eyebrows, your eyelids. Take about four more breaths, slow, steady, deep breaths. I'm gonna say a couple more because I feel like we were on this other side just a little longer. So a couple more breaths. And then ease your way back upright. We'll find a way, find our way into a seat. Nice and easy. Sit over onto your left butt cheek, right leg swings around. You can lean back and give both of your legs a little shake out. This time, uh, left leg stays extended, sole of your right foot to your left inner thigh. So I'm going to be facing away from you. So do as I say. <laughs> I'm not watching. So sole of your right foot, left inner thigh, press your foot into your leg, leg into your foot, flex your left toes, sit up really, really tall. Both sit bones root down, reach both arms up, big in breath, 
As you exhale, reach your left fingertips for your left toes. If you can't get there, ankle or shin is perfectly fine. Reach your right arm up and then over towards your left foot. Maybe left forearm to the inside of your left leg now. Keep pressing your foot into your leg, leg back into your foot. Breathe into your right side, pull your right shoulder back and down. So it's like you're trying to rotate your heart towards the sky. About three more breaths into your right side body. Last round. Inhale, rise up, reach both arms up. Exhale, bring your right hand to the ground behind you, fingers face away from you. Press down and lift your hips, take your left arm back, lengthen your left side. Maybe even turn your heart open, big, huge breath, lots of space. One last inhale. If you want to exhale out your mouth, ah, bring your sit bones back to the ground. Same thing we did before. Windshield wipers, so hands behind you, feet on the ground with your knees bent. Take your feet out wide and then just back and forth. You can rotate your shoulders the opposite direction as you take your knees. Take it a little bit deeper. Good job, you guys. Let's come back to center and we will take Baddha Konasana. So feet together, soles of your feet together, knees apart. Only bring your feet as close as you can towards your body and still be sitting up really tall. So if you've got your feet way close, but you're kind of rocking backwards and rolling backwards, take your feet further away, sit up super tall, and even imagine you want to get onto the front edge of your sit bone. So it's like your butt is already kind of sticking out behind you and you're already kind of leaning forward. Hands to the front of your shins or the front of your ankles. Pull your shoulders back and pull your heart forward. Take a great big inhale. Stay here if this feels like a lot, otherwise exhale, reach your heart forward, reach your butt back, hinge at your hips, and then eventually you're diving down as far as you can. You can let your neck relax, you can let your head be heavy, maybe walk your hands forward on the ground, and just like we did in our child's pose at the very beginning of class, tent your hands, lift to your fingertips, push down through your fingertips, and see if you can create even more length and space from your fingertips all the way back to your sit bones. Breathe. Good job, you guys. Two more breaths here. The end of your second exhale, slowly roll it up one vertebra at a time. Nice and easy. Head is the very last thing to lift. And then once you're sitting up nice and tall, take your legs out in front of you. Nice little shake out from a couple more seated poses before we go down onto our backs. So keep your right leg extended, bend your left knee, hug your left knee towards your chest. So hands around the front of your shin or the front of your knee. Now bring your left foot to the outside of your right thigh. Hug your knee in, sit up tall, flex through your right toes so your right leg is active. Take an inhale, reach your left arm to the sky. Lengthen your spine. Exhale, twist, left hand comes to the ground behind you. If this feels like enough, stay here. Otherwise, reach your right arm up. See if you can lengthen your spine even more. Exhale, right elbow to the outside of your left knee. Twist further, gaze back over your left shoulder. Breathe down into your belly.
two more breaths. Good job, end of your next exhale. Unwind your upper body. Bring both of your hands over to your right side and you're just gonna take a little bow. So just let your back round, let the crown of your head fall towards the ground. Your left butt cheek can lift and breathe down into your low back. And lift back up, uncross your legs. And give them a little shake out. Left leg forward. Now draw your right knee in. Hands around the front of your shin. Sit up tall. Flex your left toes. Right foot to the outside of your left thigh now. Hug your knee in. Sit up tall. Inhale. Right arm to the sky. Reach up. Exhale. Twist. Hands come down behind you or your hand comes down behind you. Stay here if you want or left arm reaches up. Lengthen more, exhale, twist, left elbow outside of your right knee. Or I'm gonna stick with that first variation, just left hand gently grabbing hold of my right thigh, using that as gentle leverage. Gaze over your right shoulder, breathe down into your belly. Keep your spine as tall, as long, as spacious as possible. Two more breaths. And of your next exhalation, unwind your upper body. Bring both hands over to your left side now. And then little bow, round your spine, crown of your head towards the ground. Right butt cheek can lift, breathe into your low back. Good job, rise up, uncross your legs. And we're going to set up for a reverse tabletop, then we'll go down onto our back. So feet on the ground with your knees bent. This time feet just hips width distance apart and your heels are pretty much underneath your knees, maybe just a little bit forward. Hands behind you, hands at least shoulder width distance apart, fingers face towards your hips, spread your fingers wide. Roll your shoulders back and down. See if you can lift your heart. Press down firmly into your index finger and thumb and into your the inner edges of your feet. Lift your hips off the ground. Rather than letting your head collapse back, either tuck your chin slightly towards your chest like you're holding an apple in between your chin and your chest, or you can extend your head back with strength in the sides of your neck. Keep your shoulders back and down. Don't let them roll forward. Hug in with your inner thighs. Root down through the inner edges of your feet. Lift your hips just a little higher. One more inhale. Exhale, let it go. Lower all the way down onto your back. And once you're there, just take a full body stretch. So arms reach long and legs reach long. Pull yourself apart. Good job, my friends. Draw your right knee in. Keep your left leg extended. Supine spinal twist. Reach your right arm out to the right. Scoop your hips over to the right. Roll onto your left side body. Gaze up or over your right shoulder. Breathe. End of your next exhale, roll back onto your spine. So back to center, adjust your hips so they're straight down from your shoulders. 
Keep your left leg extended forward and draw your right knee all the way up towards your right armpit, hands around the front of your shin, squeeze. And then half happy baby with your right leg, sole of your right foot to the sky, grab hold. Neutral spine, if it's helpful, bring your left hand behind your head. Imagine there is a heavy sandbag on top of your left thigh. Good job, let go of your right leg, extend it forward. Draw your left knee up towards your belly. Supine spinal twist. Left arm reaches out to the left, hip scoot over to the left, roll onto your right side. Gaze up or gaze over your left shoulder. Breathe. And then roll, end of your next exhale, roll back to center, adjust your hips so they're straight down from your shoulders again. Left knee up towards your left armpit, right leg stays extended. Squeeze your left knee in and up, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then half happy baby with your left leg. You'd like right hand behind your head. Nice and neutral through your spine. Invisible sandbag on top of your right thigh. And if you do want to turn this into a full happy baby, go for it at any time. You can rock it out. You can straighten one leg and then the other. If there's any other postures, any final poses you want to take for your own practice, just to complete your practice for yourself, please feel free. Give yourself a few breaths. And this is just a short reading for you by Melody Beattie. And it is called the title of it is, What Are You Resisting Most? Be open to the whole journey, all parts of it. Is there a feeling, a person, a thought, a project that you have been avoiding? Is there some part of your life that you are refusing to deal with or open up to? Is there something you're resisting, something that makes you stubbornly say no? Ignore the voice that says, this is how I decided it will be, so I will close off to that part. I will not consider it. That is the voice of resistance. Be open to everything. Your most valuable lessons may well come from the things you are resisting most. And I think that is so true. And I think of a, a reading by Jeff Foster when he says, What's worse, the rain or your resistance to getting wet? So a lot of times we cause our own suffering by avoiding or resisting what is already happening, what is already here, trying to hold ourselves back from experiencing fully or just opening up to life. So that's my thought for you as you move into Shavasana might give you something to think about or feel into or just let it kind of circulate through you and I'll leave you here you have two minutes until the hour so take at least those two minutes and if you have a little more time take a little more time for yourself in Shavasana close your practice in a way that resonates for you when you're done I love you guys thank you for being here and letting me guide you
Namaste.